guys, Andrea. I have my sister here. Hi. You know my sister? <coughs> Why? This is my sister, Jaylene. You guys probably seen her once before <coughs> in my Q&A number five. <coughs> yes, that, yes, they did. They didn't? They didn't see you? Uh, it's, it's a panda. It's a panda. Okay, so the panda saw you? No? Mm -hmm. No? The video was about the panda? No, it's, it's no panda. There's no panda, right? It's, it's on my shirt. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know what she was talking about, but yeah, she has a panda on her shirt. What does your shirt say? It okay. says, cute. Nice. They do know what they talk about. I want to stay to sit down. You want to sit down on the chair? Yes, I don't want to do cereal. Um, video. So you don't want to do the video? No. Bye. Bye, guys. So here's my sister. The only reason she came to my house is because I got her a jacket. So I just decided to do her hair while she was here. And it is my mom's birthday, so I'm babysitting her. Happy birthday, mom. 40th birthday. That woman's old. Anyways. So yeah, this is her hair and I want to stress this because a lot of people say that th thick curly hair can be more work and everything. I want to go against that. I do have thick curly hair but my sister has thin curly hair and that's most of my family members. They have thin curly hair and it's tighter curls and people say that thin curly hair is easier to take care of than thick curly hair, especially when it comes to detangling, right? Well, I don't agree with that. My little sister right here, as you can see, has very thin curly hair. It's like really, really thin. And you know, when your hair is really thin, once you get into knots and everything, it's really, really hard to take out, especially with those knots once you start detangling and once they get it really, really tied up, it's really hard to take it out without ripping the hair. So with whatever hair tool you use, um, these are just some examples that you could use, whatever you use, be gentle. And I'm gonna use a product by Shea Moisture, the Curling Butter Cream. This is like the Curling Hands Smoothie, but a lighter form for kids. It smells amazing. The only thing I use on my daughter's hair. Told you guys this a lot of times before. This is hair that's already been styled before, so I'm gonna just damp it a little bit with water. She doesn't like the water spraying on her ear. <laughs> and all I'm gonna be doing right now is just adding the product, starting from the ends, going in, and I'm separating it. I like this thing though. Once you separate thin curly hair, it's like you just did 90% of the work, 90% of the job. And always with any hair, grab at the end really, really tight and get it closer to your roots. That prevents whoever hair you're detangling, even your own, from feeling you pulling on their hair and detangling it. And like I always say, always start from the bottom with whatever tool you are using. But yeah, that's what it is. With thin hair, once you detangle it with your fingers, it's basically done. It's like curly hair's best friend, <laughs> the fingers. But yeah, I'm basically done here. It's just not much to do because of the detangling that I did with my fingers. So I'm gonna start this all over again with the other section. It's always very important to divide it in section no matter how thick or thin your hair is because it will just give you less hair to work with and more management over the hair overall. So you don't have a lot to deal with and a lot of tangles to deal with. More hair, more knots, right? And for the top part, I'm just gonna show you guys right here. I am not gonna use a comb because her hair is thin. If it was my little daughter's hair, I'll probably have to use a comb for a little bit at a time. But her hair, since it's very thin, I'm just gonna add a little product from a half of her hair down. I'm not really gonna add a lot, especially on the roots. You don't need it. And I'm just gonna tangle her hair with my fingers. It just slides right through with this product. The product is just amazing. That's all I'm doing with my fingers. I'm gonna use this brush right here to just divide her hair because mine as well just finished doing her hair, right? I already detangled it. I don't like using thin combs. They do probably will give you a better, more precise division but it will, like the teeth on the comb, most of the time it just grabs on the hair and it just creates a whole mess. So that's what I'm gonna use. This product's also very, very great to fix your baby hairs because she has a lot. Uh, comes in the family. A lot of baby hair and I like using a very, very, very soft brush on literally any hair you work with because it is kind of harsh to use a very hard brush, especially on younger kids because it pulls their newly born hair, I'll say. <laughs> yeah, she's a toddler. She's only three. And it's a very, very good hold for your curls as well. It's not anything like gels or anything like that, but it offers a very polished look. 
and a very, very well-defined curls, right? So I am done. This is what she looks like. <laughs> like I said, she did come to get her jacket that I got her from CN Direct. It's just a trench coat that I got her. It's a trench coat, sapphire blue. That's like that on the sleeve. That's how the inside is. Really, really warm. I compare with Tammy Dress and shiny stores like that. This is all I got and she loved it. Bye, thank you for watching. Bye guys.